Do you recall the first time or an early time that you were aware of racial injustice? Um, yes, all of my life. Um, for example, when I left Chicago as a boy, seven years of age, when we got to Evansville, Indiana, this was the dividing line on the Lewis, Louisville and Nashville Railroad where blacks became segregated. So that that was my first real knowledge about segregation and I was seven years of age. So that um, I have been segregated uh, from my earliest days uh, and I suspect I'm still segregated so that at 82 years old or close to it, anytime I go into a store, I know that I, I, I get the feeling that I'm being watched, that I'm expected to steal something. Uh, not that that's the case, but um, this is a part of really uh, being black in the United States. I live with that uh, on a daily basis. On the march uh, across the Pettis Bridge in Selma, uh, one day we stopped off for just for relaxation and rest and I had never heard it before. Now this is not a Paul Robeson or Roland Hayes. Um, this is just Marion Bascom. All of a sudden in the black muck of Alabama the group began to sing if the Spirit says sing, I'm gonna sing. If the Spirit says sing, I'm gonna sing. And if the Spirit says sing, I'm gonna sing, oh Lord. Gonna sing if the Spirit says sing. I'm gonna pray if the Spirit say pray. I'm gonna pray if the Spirit say pray. And if the Spirit say pray, I'm gonna pray, oh Lord, gonna pray if the Spirit say pray. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs>